in this session we'll be learning about how to create maps so far we've been working on our data frame and now to create maps we would switch to our layout view so under here we have two different views we have the data view which is what we've been working on and now we have the layout view so we'd select the layout view once we select the layout view we have the layout toolbar comes up now automatically we have a portrait a portrait mode now we would have to change it back owing to the shape of our of our map because it will be variable if we use landscape so we come to file from file we navigate to page and print setup and we change it to landscape now we can also tweak the height and the width of the of the paper we want to use here but i'll just leave it um, and we can also choose the size of paper we want i just leave it as a default and i'll say landscape then okay the tools in the layout to are quite similar to the tools we have here but they work differently in the sense that when we use this zoom in it zooms in the entire map it zooms in the entire um, view we have at the moment and when we zoom out it also zooms out the entire view and when we pan we pan around the entire view but when 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 we want to use what we have here we are using it for what we have in the map select this then we select the frame we are working on then now we can come here to select this to zoom then we have the effect we've been having previously so let's go back to previous extent i think i'm okay with this zoom i can just zoom this to layer to perfect it to fit it into the data frame now we have some basic map elements we will need to add to to embellish this map so to add this map element we'll come to the inserts now we can start with a title so we, we can say um nigerian population so this is it over here so we can double click on it then we come to the change symbology then we can tweak all of this so, so i'll choose trajan pro i like this font a lot then say size 24 and i'll just say okay and i can apply it to see what it looks like okay since i'm okay with this then i say okay and i can move this around to, to fit properly now another element we'll be adding is the not arrow so we can select from a range of not arrows we have we have different not arrows so what will be fitting our our job at the moment so i'll just select let me just find one that is really cool okay i, I like this then i'll say okay now we can resize it make it bigger make it smaller and drag and drop it here the one interesting thing to have is the guides now these guides are meant to help us place objects properly so we can set guides to snap to snap objects we are trying to place so um let me just clear all guides now i can set i can set guides now to set guides all we have to do is to click on the ruler here and we can see a line we can see a, a tiny line very faint what it does is to help us set our borders we can see it snapping to that point is really handy it helps us make our map our data frame snap to points we would like it to snap at so i'll just return this to what it was before so basically that's the use of the borders so now i'll be adding one more element which is the scale bar so um i think I, I i really like the scale bar then it's not always about what we really like we would have to like look at our map and look and like try to get what scale bar is like the best fit for 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 our use now we can come to the properties and we can edit it now i want mine to be in kilometers 
and I want the label to show KM, not kilometers in full. Then I can say okay. Then I can say okay. So I can bring this, I can bring this down somewhere here. You just have to look for like spaces around our map to optimize and utilize the space. And the final thing to add is our legend. So now I'm I'm dealing with the Nigerian state. That's the only thing. That's one of the things I want to show. If I want more items from the table of contents to show, I can just click them and drop them here. And if I don't want this, I'll just click it back. Now, if I want all of this to come, I can just select all of this. And if I want to return all of this, I'll just select this. So I'll be selecting just the Nigerian states. That's what I want to symbolize. Then I would bring it to the legend item. Now you select the number of column for for my legend one is okay, but if you are dealing with a lot of elements, you can increase it. So one is okay. Then I'll just accept the default. Next, 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 next. Then I'll finish. So now this is what we have as a legend. We can place it somewhere here. You can see it's not really positioning well. To make it snap, I can bring my um guide. I can set my guide and bring it to this position. Now, once I place it here, it snaps to that point, and I can do the same thing for this point. Now, set my guide here, and now when I drop it here, it automatically snaps to position. So this is what we are, but this is labeled as NGA states. We don't really need this since we have labeled Nigeria Nigerian population over here. So what we can do to edit this, we would right click on it, I would convert it to graphics. After converting to graphics, we right click on it again, we we'll ungroup it. After ungrouping it, we we'll right click on it again, then we we'll ungroup it one more time. Now we can edit whatever we have here. So now I can delete this by just pressing the delete button. And now for the legend, I can move it a little, a little bit down here. And now I can select everything. Oh, I just press Ctrl Z to return that. Now we have to be careful about the frame we are working on not to make mistakes i'll just select outside here now come back to select this part just this part then i'll right click on it then i'll just group it so now when i move it around it moves as a group so that's how we group and ungroup and add our, our legends so for now i'm okay with all the information i have on this map now the next thing to do is to export it now we'll come to file from file we we'll navigate to the exports yeah before we export it we can also print the preview to see what it looks like on the printed paper so this is what it's going to be looking like on the printed paper so if you don't like what we are seeing we can go back and edit it we can tweak it more and probably move our scale bar somewhere here but i think i'm okay with everything i have here Oh, one final thing I'm missing is the grid. So um, let's add the grid. So to add the grid, you select the data frame. Then we will right click on it. Now we go to the properties. Now from the properties, we can see new grid. Now we can see graphical measure grid and reference grid. This is what it's looking like here. So I'm okay with the graphicals. Then I press next. Now I, I, I want just labels. I don't want the lines to show. Now. For this part, for the place parallels every, I don't want it, I don't want to place it every five degree. If I place it every five degree, it will be too much because Nigerian longitudinal zone is between three degree to 15 degree. So it will make sense if I have, if I have parallels every three degree, it really makes sense that way. And we can also tweak this if this is not working, but three degrees is fine for Nigeria. If it was a smaller country, we could use one. Press next. Now we just accept all the defaults. Then we we apply it to see what we have. All right. So this is what we have after applying the the grid. But I I, I just want to um edit some some stops there. So we come to the properties. Now say your grids are looking too small or too much. And you want to edit them you can for the x axis you can increase or decrease this to have you see the effect here 
for the y axis the same thing i can increase this to four if i apply this i can say okay and if i apply this you can see it's spreading out more so i i prefer it when it was three i just leave it as that I'll say okay okay now going back to the properties we want to edit the labels so for the labels i want mine to be eight and i want it to be bold now for the vertical labels these are the vertical labels it's shooting out and i don't want it to shoot out so what we'll do is to select the left and right so it's it's prevented from shooting out then we say okay then now we apply so i'm very convenient with the output i have here so i'll just say okay now this now all the elements i need in the map are actually complete now so now i can export it or i can print the preview to see what i have to see the errors or the omissions so but I, I'm, I'm good with everything i have so now i can just export this map now to to export the map we get this export window now we can choose from various options while we'll be using the jpeg now for the resolution we can increase this um we can see a thousand this this dpi is dot per inch and these are the pixels width and height so i just leave this as it is then i'll navigate to the folder i want to save this so let me just create a new folder and call it outputs so i'll save it in this folder and i'll call it um pop and i'll save so right now it's loading so there we have it um let's view what, what we have so this is what the exported image looks like and this is a brief overview on how we can create our maps 